The following is a CJBT Productions podcast. This is the Music History Today podcast for August 3rd. On today's show, McCartney gets his wings, Motown gets sold, and Tony Bennett gets his signature song. First, on this date in 1829, Giacchino Rossini premiered his William Tell opera. In 1826, birthday boy Tony Bennett performed his signature song, I Left My Heart in San Francisco for the first time. In 1963, the Beatles played at the Cavern Club for the last time. In 1968, Johnny Cash's guitarist, Luther Perkins, was trapped in a house fire. He passed away two days later from his injuries. In 1971, Paul McCartney formed the group Wings. In 1974, Jeff Baxter quit Steely Dan in order to join the Doobie Brothers. In 1979, the Talking Heads released their album, Fear of Music. In 1987, Def Leppard's much-anticipated album, Hysteria, was released. In 1991, Pearl Jam played at the Seattle club, RKCNDY. The footage from the show was used in Pearl Jam's music video, Alive. In 1993, Motown Records was sold by Boston Ventures to Polygram Records for $325 million. In 1998, Boys Zone released their song, No Matter What. In 1999, Patsy Cline received her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 2010, Madonna launched a clothing line called Material Girl. In 2015, Gwen Stefani and Gavin Rossdale of Bush announced that they were getting divorced. In 2016, Modest Mouse was involved in an auto accident when he fell asleep at the wheel. In 2017, Camila Cabello released the song Havana. Also on the same day, rapper Kid Creole was arrested for the stabbing death of a homeless man in New York City. In 2018, Christian Lalama released the song TikTok. Sophia Grace Brownlee released the song Number One. Carson Luters released the song Have You Always. And Mackenzie Ziegler released the song Nothing on Us. Artists who were born on August 3rd include the aforementioned birthday boy himself, the legendary Mr. Tony Bennett. Also, Dean Sams of Lone Star, Ed Rowland of Collective Soul, James Hetfield of Metallica, Lee Rocker of The Stray Cats, Ian Barnson of Pilot, Johnny Graham of Earth, Wind & Fire, B.B. Dickerson of War, John York of The Birds, Beverly Lee of The Shirelles, Kenny Hodges of Spanky and Our Gang, Arthur Wood of The Climax Blues Band, Gordon Stoker of The Jordanaires, Composer Richard Adler, singer Lucky Doobie, singer Roy C., David Peel of the Lower East Side Band, singer Sarita Wright, folk singer Sally Oldfield, Holly Blake Arnstein of Dream, jazz trumpet player Charlie Shavers, jazz trumpet player Les Elgert, the conductor for the Ed Sullivan Show Orchestra, Mr. Ray Block. Skin of Skunkanansi, Martin Atkins of Nine Inch Nails, Stephen Carpenter of Deftones, rapper DC the Don, rapper John Gabbana, rapper DRAM, and rapper Bexy Swan. Artists who passed away on August 3rd include composer Sebastian Duran in 1716. Composer Giovanni Battista Martini in 1784. Composer Carl Friedrich Christian Fausch in 1800. 
composer Charles Frederick Horn in 1830, composer Wenzel Mueller in 1835, composer Carl George Lekel in 1877, composer Pierre August Olander in 1886, composer Arthur Collins in 1933, composer Eugust Enna in 1939, jazz trumpet player Corky Cornelius, who played with Benny Goodman and Gene Krupa, passed away of kidney failure at the age of 28 in 1943. Guitarist Luther Perkins passed away in 1968. Composer Renato Fasano passed away in 1979. Saxophonist Seymour Osterwall passed away in 1981. Conductor Antonia Bricho passed away in 1989. Jazz drummer Kansas Fields passed away in 1995. Composer Alfred Schnickty passed away in 1998. Jazz bassist Leroy Vinegar, who played with Shelley Mann, Teddy Edwards, and Les McCann, passed away of a heart attack at the age of 71 in 1999. Singer-songwriter Roger Vidoris passed away in 2003. Rock musician Arthur Lee of Love, the psychedelic rock musician himself, passed away in 2006. Opera soprano Elizabeth Schwarzkopf passed away in 2006 as well. Eric Darling of the Rooftop Singers passed away in 2008. Pianist Louis Teacher passed away in 2008. Singer Bobby Hebb, who sang the song Sunny, passed away in 2010. Rosetta Hightower of the Orlans passed away in 2014. Conductor Adam Walasinski passed away in 2015. Rapper C. Struggs passed away in 2018. And the co-founder of the Village People, Henri Belolo, passed away in 2019. And that is it for the Music History Today podcast for August 3rd. Thanks for listening. Audio engineering and editing, video editing, writing, narration, basically everything having to do with this podcast is done by yours truly. You can find us on our website at cjbtproductions.com. Our podcast is on all of your favorite podcast providers, such as Apple Music, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Spotify, etc., all under Music History Today. If you would like to support this podcast, our Patreon can be found at patreon.com backslash music history today we are also on twitter at music history day and you can now find us on youtube don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell anytime you want to know exactly what videos are dropped and when all of those links can be found in the show notes below thank you very very much for listening